Hi, so I'm uh, Jeff Bellinghausen, CTO and Chief Architect of Six Sense. Um, I'm here in the Razor booth showing off the Six Sense uh, technology. Um, we just uh, announced our partnership with Razor to come up with a gaming product using the Six Sense controllers. Um, here I'm using the Six Sense Dev Kit with a, an application we call it Indexter. Um, it uses the two um, six degree of freedom motion controllers to let you just reach out into the world and just grab onto objects. Um, you can grab one in each hand, you just move them around in space. It's totally one to one, um, six degree of freedom motion tracking. There's no line of sight, so I can take the controller and put it right behind my back and still control the objects. Um, it's very low latency and a high precision. Um, there's one millimeter of position and one degree of orientation. Um, I can take these two objects and use one to slice away from the other one to do different kinds of cutting operations. So this is a 3D modeling application, but it's also really interesting just as a, a, a viewpoint manipulation. So I can use this other button to grab and push the view around in the world. Um, so you can walk through space, just push the world around. If you grab with both hands, you can rotate. You can pitch up and down, or look in and out, or you can stretch your hands apart to zoom in. So you can zoom in, look at very small details, and then very fluidly zoom back out. So it's a very quick and natural way to interact with the scene. I can bring up this GUI panel here that's like a 2D control panel. It's like a virtual PDA that's always with you there in the world. Um, you can drag and load different geometry. You can use these new objects to also interact with the world. So I can take that one and cut away from the ground here and cut stuff out. So, um, so this is a 3D modeling program, but you can see this kind of interface would be really useful for any kind of an application, like a real-time strategy game, where you zoom out and you're looking at a whole country level, and then you can very quickly zoom in um, down to you know the unit level, and then even get down to a very first-person view and you know directly controlling in first person. Um, or you know, applications like Google Earth, where you're zooming in and out of a map view, or obviously anything with uh, user-generated content. So you could be designing racetracks, uh, customizing your vehicle or an airplane. Or so this is a uh, Leopard Edge 2 that's been uh, modified to support the Six Sense motion controller. So you can see I can uh, control the view with this right hand controller and it's a very fast and responsive one-to-one uh, -one look mode. And then um, I can use this other controller for gestures. Like I can pick next weapon, previous weapon, or melee attack to push them, push the zombies back and then shoot with the other, other hand. Um, but where this really shines is in the one-to-one -one, um, melee weapons. So by clicking a button, I can bring up the um, katana here and control it in a totally one-to-one -one manner and then really just slack pack at the zombies totally one-to-one -one nature. That means the exact position and orientation of the, of the controller's track. Um, there are other gestures like uh, jump and crouch, and they're all just very intuitive, very quick little motions. So we're trying to focus on very competitive, um, you know, action-packed games like Left 4 Dead 2.